Hello Anime Expo! How is everyone tonight? Great. Welcome to the Mashal Magic and Muscles panel presented by Anaplex of America. My name's Rose and I'm so thrilled to have you join us tonight. <laughs> But before we start, I need to check a few things off my presentation recipe. Please remember that no photo or video recording is allowed. And also, please feel free to respectfully cheer or react to what's happening on the stage. And a warning that there are some spoilers if you haven't seen the series yet. Good. <laughs> In April, we started our journey with the off-kilter magical world of Mashal Magic and Muscles. The first season introduced us to the main character, Mash Burndead, and we enjoyed his antics as he entered Easton Magic Academy, made a great group of friends, and battled against the Magia Lupus in his pursuit to become a divine visionary. Well, the last episode just aired yesterday. Season one. Yeah, and so now we get to spend the following hour reminiscing over the epic first season. Okay, so without further ado, I'd like to get the show started and invite our enchantingly wonderful guest to the stage. <laughs> Put your hands together for the Japanese voice of Mash Burn Dead, Chiaki Kobayashi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for traveling all the way here. Um, before we begin, can we get a quick hello to the audience? Hi, everyone. Yeah. Do you like Mashu? Yeah. Thank you. I'm Chiaki Kobayashi. Uh, uh, voice of the Mashu Bandit. Oh, nice to meet you. Kobayashi-san, is this your first time in Los Angeles? What has your experience been so far? ですね。昨日初めてロサンゼルス来たんですけど、めちゃくちゃお肉、ビーフ、めちゃくちゃ美味しくて。I came to Los Angeles yesterday for the first time, and all I can say is meat, beef. I had a hot dog, and there, I've never had a hot dog before um, like that in Japan. So it was super delicious, and I just couldn't. It was one of the first impressions that I had, a great impression in Los Angeles. We have some special hot dogs in LA, don't we? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah pink. <laughs> uh, what did you think when you found out you were coming to Anime Expo for Mashal Magic and Muscles? And what has been your impression of the fans here at Anime Expo in America? いや、日本と全然熱量っていうか違って日本は割とこういう登壇してもいや、オンリーでももうアメリカロスはイエーイおお、センキューこれがめちゃくちゃ気持ちいいしこっちもなんか楽しくなってくるのですごいやっぱ
really good just feeling that passion and that heat from everybody and, and just being there. And it's so fun so far. And, you know, I, it's awesome. Thank you. The season has been wonderful as we were introduced to the main character, Mash Burned It, and the world that he lives in. Kobayashi-san, how do you approach voicing Mash? Well, one of the first things I kind of was conscious yeah. was my hairstyle. <laughs> だからたまにその花江さんとかから髪型で決まったんでしょとか冗談で言われますそのマイフェローボイスアクターハナエさんもたまにジョークをしてくれて言うんですけどいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや
Well, Louis Vuitton normally is a very calm, you know, a uh, very soft-spoken person who just smiles all the time, and she's really not that um, out outgoing. Or, but whenever she voices Lemon, um, as as her character goes, she makes all these really scary, angry faces. So I think her inner Lemon really comes out. That must be so interesting to see the two sides. Um, can you tell us about Ishikawa-san, who plays Lance? Kaito-san is... I guess... That's right. Well, Kaito-san... Yeah. Well, but... I like to talk a lot about the music. I like to talk a lot about the music. But... I like to talk a lot about the music. I like to talk a lot about the music. I like to talk a lot about the music. Well, uh, he and I also have a mutual love for acting, and so we also talk, we talk often about acting, and we, you know, we exchange notes and stuff. Um, we also go out um, drinking a lot together, so we're kind of like drinking buddies. This is really fun. Um, and finally, last but not least, can you talk a little bit about Eguchi-san, who plays Dot? Eguchi-san, <laughs> 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 well, what's with all this big reaction just for Eguchi-san?江口さんはまあすごく優しいし、うん後輩僕の方が全然後輩なんですけど後輩思い出し、まあでもやっぱりあそうだこのLA来る前日に江口さんと同じタクシー、ウーバー一緒に乗ってあのお家に帰ったん
Okay. Uh, the first clip comes from early in the series when Mash's magical athleticism is put to the test. <笑>バカ。俺は編入生と違って、ここの中東部の時から放棄に乗ってんだ。お前なんかに負けるわけがねえ。僕僕にしてやるや。あの生徒、昨日のふざけたやつね。放棄なんて乗れるのかしら。それじゃあ行くわよ。よーい。何か。何が起きたんだってばよ。いや、なんで君がなの。世界史上ワンドレコード。ワンドレコード。一体何が起こったんだ。どういうことだ。わけわかんねえ。僕はちゃんと見てた
The character's so cool, but a lot of thought goes into how to portray him. It's very interesting. Um, and of course, Mash Burn Dead isn't just muscles and cream puffs. He's an, <laughs> he's an outsider who has found community and doesn't believe in leaving anyone out for being different, as evidenced here. Uh. It really hits you right in the feels, right? Um, so the question is, what do you think Mash was feeling after he fought the mysterious second fang, Abyss, Abyss Razor, but still wanted to be friends? So, this is a Mash who is a very good person 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 who is a very good person. Well, Mash was raised by Pops, and you know he was taught by Pops how to be to be kind always. まあだからその影響かもう敵だろうといいところを見つけて友達になれるっていうところがまあ彼すごくパワーもスピードもまあ筋力がすごいですけどまあ何よりもこの主人公ヒーローたるゆえんはやっぱりその。心優しい心にあると思いますねだからこのシーンも敵に対して手を差し伸べたんじゃないかなと思います well, As a character here. Thank you. It's good words to live by. <laughs> Watching the show is such a joy. And、uh, speaking of enjoyable experiences, we would now like to invite another guest to the stage. <laughs> Fans of Mashal Magic and Muscle's English dub might recognize his voice. So, can everyone please put their hands together for the English voice of Mash Burn Dead, Alex Lee? <laughs> Thank you. Kakui. Alex, I'm Kakui. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Oh, these lights are bright. Hey, Alex. Thank you so much for joining us here today.、Uh, can we start off with a quick message to the fans? Uh, when I was a teenager, I was way too broke to afford a ticket to Anime Expo. So, to be here today on this stage representing such an awesome show side by side with my Japanese brother, I am so, so happy. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much! It's great seeing you here with Kobayashi san. Um, and I, we, I know you're very happy to be here. Are there any other feelings coming up sitting, sitting together, both our mashes? <sighs> I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally sitting next to my hero here, so it's, it's, there's a lot of nerves. So I'm very happy to just even be sharing the same space with him. Thank you.、Uh, well, moving along. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> We, we are so happy to have you both. It's such a pleasure. It's such an honor to see you.、Um, but we would like to know, since it's, it's a little bit rare to see two、uh, actors who play the same part, did you draw any inspiration from Kobayashi san's portrayal when figuring out how to play MASH? 
Uh, absolutely. I feel like the basis of my performance is really built upon what he did. And uh, there's a lot of subtleties in the Japanese language. So it was a lot of hours of analyzing his performance and how he subtly delivered those lines. And also, the thing that he taught me the most was how to do MASH's uh, workout sound, which was very, very hard. The <laughs> so that's all thanks to Koyashi san, he is my sensei. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last time I wasn't very good, but I got it now. Thank you. I, I was, I'm really happy to hear that in person. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and I have a question for both of you, actually, uh, for Kobayashi san and Alex. What do you both believe you have in common with the character MASH, starting with Kobayashi san? Other than my haircut? あ、そうですね。でも甘いものすごい好きなので、だから結構LA来る時とかもアイスクリームたくさんもらいましたし、コーラも日本のコーラよりすごい甘くて美味しいんですよ。だからアメリカの食べ物飲み物が僕の舌
日本にはないんですよ。I don't think there's a Jollibee's in Japan. I don't gotta get it here. Well, I, I hope to、uh, hear the story one day when Koyashi san finally eats Jollibee with Alex. <laughs>、um, talking more about the school, students at Easton Magic Academy have a special magical focus or ability. What special power would you like to have? And again, we'll start with Kobayashi san. とにかくアメリカ来たら英語しゃべれたら直接ねしゃべれるようになったらよりね流暢にというかいろんな人と道行く人ともコミュニケーション取れますしで中国だったら中国語を話せるとか、まあ、頑張ればできますけどそれが僕の手に入れたい魔法ですかね。Well, I think the magic that I want to get is, to, is the magic of languages. So if I, every time I go to a different country, I want to Be able to magically speak that language. So, if I'm in the United States, I want to speak English. If I go to China, I want to speak Chinese so that I can communicate with everybody out with you every time I you know, interact with anybody. So, I think that's the magic that I would like. Alex、ね、I want Alex to just teach, teach me. I'll try my best, yeah.、Oh, that was such a sweet and a heartfelt answer. Now I feel nervous to say my answer. <laughs> I was just going to say it's, it's hot here, so I just get wind magic to cool me down. <laughs> I think that is also、oh. admirable. Thank you very much. See, no electric bill. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Students are also sorted into three different dorms. We have Orca, the dorm that values wisdom and willingness. We have Lang, which values ability and ambition. And of course, Adler, the dorm that values courage and conviction. Which dorm at Easton Magic Academy do you think you'd be sorted into and why? Starting with Kobayashi san, down the line. I think I want to go to the Lang dorm. うん、だってレアンってエリートっていう感じだし、まあ、なんだろう能力が高くないと入れないっていうイメージなので僕は入れる素質を持っていたいです。Well, you know, because that dorm is, you know, it's the elite. It's the elite dorm, and you know, and you can't, you only can go in if you have, unless you have high abilities. So I would wish that I had high abilities to be able to accept it into that, into that dorm. Thank you. What about you, Alex? Which storm would you go into?、Uh, so, Lang, both Lang and Orca are both very ambitious and, like Kobayashi san said, high ability dorms. I think that would be too much pressure for me.、Uh, so, I, I'd, I'd go with Adler because everybody there seems really chill. So, I, I think I would love to just not have the pressure of school. On me while being in school. Sure, I'll study hard to become the divine visionary, but you know, I want to have a good time. <laughs> I don't want to be pulling my hair out while I'm doing it. I think I identify with Adler, but I also think you're ambitious as well. <laughs>、um, school is such a great place to meet new people. And speaking of meeting new people, this isn't actually the first time that you guys are meeting, that you and Kobayashi san are meeting, are you? You took a trip to Japan a few months ago before you started recording the English dub for Mashal, Magic and Muscles, and had a very unique experience that I think few other dub, English dub actors have ever had. So,、uh, should we take a look? Check it out. Hi, everyone. My name is Alex Lee. I'm the English voice of Mash and Mashal, Magic and Muscle. And today I'm here in Japan for my first time ever to meet a super special guest. So let's head inside and find out who it is. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? Yeah, a little. <laughs> I'm really nervous. But come on, let's not waste any more time and go in. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.、Uh, Hi, Mr. Alex. Ah,、oh, Nice to meet you, Koyashi. Fu, 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 fu,
so 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 This is probably an experience I will never, ever forget. So thank you again, and I hope to see you again soon. Maybe in America? So this is the America in it. The sign of the city, 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 the So you can watch this video in its entirety、uh, on the Anaplex of America YouTube channel after this panel. That is so awesome. What was that encounter like for you, Alex?、Uh, well, it was my first time ever in Japan, and it was also my first time getting to be in a recording studio, especially alongside my Japanese counterpart. So that was really, really mind blowing and like even surreal. Like, even when I was there getting my makeup done for the shoot, I was like, am I really doing this? So it sounds unforgettable. Very, very cool. Yeah, and I think Kobayashi san, this was your first time meeting a voice actor who played your counterpart in another language. What was your impression of、uh, Alex when you met him? Yeah, so this is like, really, the Japanese thing is that I really have respect for it. なんかあんその初めて本当に他の自分のやってる役の声優さんにお会いしたんですけど本当になんか僕のニュアンスを組んでくれようとしてくれてるっていうのが伝わるしなんか本当に言語の壁を越えて同じ役をやってるんだなって実感してすごく嬉しかったです。Well, I can definitely say that, you know, Alex was, I can feel the respect that he has for Japanese voice actors. And, you know, and as you mentioned, you know, this was my first time meeting my、um, dub counterpart.、Um, and I can, I can feel when, when I was interacting with Alex, the, the respect as, fell, as well as the interactions that we did,、um, how he took Every single detail, what I did, and he took notes for that. And I knew that our interaction was beyond, was something that was beyond the language. And it felt really nice to know that we were all doing the same cause for the same anime, but in different languages. Thank you. And you visited the actual studio where they recorded Mashal Magic and Muscle. So, not only a recording studio, but the studio where they recorded Magic and,、uh, Mashal Magic and Muscles. Can you describe how that felt?、Uh, it was such an insane experience because I never thought I'd get to be in Japan in the studio where they actually make the anime. So, to be standing on the same ground where they created this in the first place was a whole different world for me. I got to see the animatics, which was really cool. but... My favorite part about the entire visit was that the studio was like an underground castle. Like it was huge. Like we had an underground layer, and it, it, it was literally built like a castle. So I was like, this is, did they do this on purpose? Because it's very in theme. But that was、uh, Japanese recording studios are on a different level for sure. <laughs> that sounds so cool, doesn't it? Wow. Wow. We would love to hear, if possible, since we have both Kobayashi san and Alex Lee with us, we would love to hear a live example of both of you saying one of Masha's lines.、Uh, right? Would you、uh, mind giving us a little taste? And、sure. why don't we start with Alex? All right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Living in peace with pops. If this world's so cruel it won't let us, I got no choice but to crush it. With my fist. I think we can really feel the resolve that Nash has. Thank you so much, Alex.、Uh, Kobayashi san, if you please. Jee chan to heiwa ni kras. So na a t a r i m a no koto mo deki nai yo no naka nara. Bukko a su shika nai de shou. Gu pan de. Desu ka ne? It's great, right, audience?
Well, finally, Kobayashi-san, do you have any last words for Alex as he finishes recording season one of Mashal Magic and Muscles? そうですね。結構敵の声優に負けないような。Well, you know, uh, the characters, the enemies are going to get stronger and stronger and Mash will definitely have to power up and get stronger himself too. And so that act your acting will need to reflect that as well. Um, and you don't want the audience to think that oh, you know, with your voice that we don't want it doesn't sound like mash is powerful he's going to stand a chance against this enemy as they as they grow more and more powerful so you know in the next season we we're, we're going to um have more characters that are going to get stronger such as the enemy that's voiced by Hanai-san so what i tried to do was to voice somebody that was not um to voice mash that wasn't going to be weak against Hanai-san's acting. So your acting, Alex, also needs to reflect that. So we don't want the audience to think he's he's not going to stand a chance. So that's my advice. So he's telling me to hit the gym, basically. It's really growing with the character. Very interesting advice. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gubia san <laughs> Thank you. Well, we uh, have some information that we would like to share with you, audience. Let's take a look. じゃあ、そうか。ついに。本当に君が男前なのか。証明してみせる。Are you truly manly? Yes. Uh, yes, so this is National Magic and Muscles. The season 2 is coming January 2024. We are so excited. In a few words, is there something we should look forward to? A few words. <笑>まあ、そう、ネタバレせずだと、まあ、そうですね、本当にまあ、最後の方に出てきたキャラクターとかと、まあ、本格的に戦うので、そのバトルシーン、あとやっぱバトルシーン1期の時も結構すごかった
power and more intensity in the battle scenes. So, you know, hope to look for, I hope you all look forward to it, not just, you know, for our acting, but also the battle scenes and the action that, you'll, that you're going to see soon. Thank you. And, and Alex, what are you most looking forward to seeing from MASH in the next season? More cream puff. <laughs> I agree. Uh, we have a couple more things to share with you. From our friends at Bondi Namco comes these band <laughs> comes these band Presto Mash and Lance 6.5 inch figures releasing later this summer. <laughs> Start your Band Presto Mashal Magic and Muscles collection with Mash and Lance and be on the lookout for additional statues releasing this fall. Also, have you seen the MASH SH figure arts from Bandai Namco's Tamashi Nations? You see them. Um, add to your collection with this and the figure arts, figure arts minis of MASH Lance Lemon, also releasing towards the end of the year. But wait, there's more. It's really cool. <laughs> From Anaplex Plus, we have the MASH Burn Dead Buzz Mod action figure. The MASH Burn Dead Buzz Mod comes with a variety of eyes and various interchangeable parts, which can be used to recreate your favorite scenes from the hit series. His special robe is made with movable fabric that can be adjusted to show movement and make the action poses more dynamic. And his beloved Cream Puff and Broom are included. Give it up for, for Cream, cream Puff. puff. Yeah. So head over to the Anaplex Plus website for more information on that.